first picked up the MP Sport, one thing that concerned me was the fact that there are no heat shields here in the handguard. Now, um, all polymer handguards, even with heat shields, whether they be Magpul, BCM, uh, B5 systems, whatever, will eventually melt. Um, but the heat shields will prevent them from melting a few more mags. So I wanted to find out sort of, will these melt under normal use? Now, normal use, of course, is not doing a 60 mag, 60 round uh, drum dump, but it's about the most extreme edge of that. A lot of guys in classes will certainly run 60 rounds, just like two mags back to backs doing a drill or something like that. Or, you know, out just having fun on the farm like we're doing today. That's perfectly acceptable as well. So we're gonna see um, if it'll hold up to that. So I'm not gonna do, you know, 10 mag dumps because I know it would melt at that point, but we're just gonna run 60 rounds through it. We got the Magpul D60 from Brownells. I'll put a link down in the video description in there. And uh, we'll see how she holds up. Now, having done these sorts of heat tests before, one thing I'll tell you is that the, it's gonna keep getting hotter. The heat from the inside of the barrel is gonna keep coming out. So we're gonna give it a little bit and let sort of time lapse and then check it out here in just a second. I should also point out that it is approximately 28, 29 degrees outside today. It's cold out here right now, so that's sort of ideal conditions for this sort of test. But just looking at it right now, one thing I can tell you for sure is that the gas tube itself has changed colors. Uh, instead of a normal tan, it's more of a purplish uh, color. It almost looks like if you had um, a case color hardened receiver. That's what it looks like on an old school gun. Um, but right now, it looks like it's doing all right. You can see it also held the bolt open, which I know was something that folks wanted to see. I think we kind of gave it long enough. It doesn't appear to be getting any hotter. So let's show, oh yeah. <laughs> All right, so we had a little bit of melting for sure. I can smell it as soon as I take it off in that sort of shiny material. I don't know if that comes across on camera with the end of day sunlight that we have out here, but it's all shiny and that is, yeah, that's burnt plastic for sure. Now, these are gonna function just fine and keep going, but uh, actually I can smell it too. It's starting to smell pretty bad. So we had a little bit of melting for sure on there. Oh yeah, you can see it on bad actually, worse on this one on the top. So yeah, it kind of looks like liquid. That's not liquid guys, that's melted plastic. So that's actually what you're looking at there on top. You guys can see that. So again, that's 60 rounds straight dumped through it. Uh, not exactly normal plinker use, but I mean, Certainly I could still hold the rifle, so that's a good thing, but that's about it. Just wanted to see how these uh, heat shields, or handguards, I should say, would hold up without heat shields. Little bit of deformation, a little bit of melting, but not too bad overall. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing. We'll see you in the next video.